Welcome viewers, so this is another tutorial and before we start let me make it very clear to you that this video is for specifically for those uh, those users of ETA which are very new to this environment and it is very basic, very basic tutorial. So um, let's start. So this is the screen that appears when you open ETAP. So the very um, basic options, either you have to go for a new project or if you have any project before or you have downloaded any project, then you can go with the open project and browse that project. But right now I'm going with a new project, so taking a blank file give it any name of your choice like I am giving it a name of basic EDAP for example basic EDAP so let's replace it okay. so this is screen that appears for basic users the very uh, you know basic task on EDAP is to run the load flow analysis. So this is the I can use for running load flow analysis and then fault analysis or short circuit analysis. And then there are furthermore options which is uh, motor acceleration analysis and the one that uh, we use is this one, star protective device coordination. So there are various options. Um, my first focus on the load flow. This is something uh, you can enable grid lines with the help of this. And if you have to give any title or you want to write any text box for your remembrance. Then you can use it. My first project. Okay. Resize it the way you want. So I want to start with a very basic SLD for that taking just a generator and then a bus and then a power transformer and a transmission line and then uh, yeah, step down transformer then my bus and I am taking a lump load or let's also take a motor and this way you can drag a bus if you want ETAM is actually user friendly and now when you have to make the connections on um, on your SLD, you have to move a pointer toward the components. When this pink square appears, this pink square, so it indicates that now your uh, your SLD is ready for the connection. So you have to drag the line and connect it this way. In this way, complete all the connections. One more feature of ETAP is that if you have not selected a bus but you are making a connection between a, uh, between two components or two equipments, then either automatically inserts a bus between them. So in this way you can see this. One more feature. One more feature is that um, For example, uh, if you have to remove any um, any connection, just select that connection and press delete button, it will be deleted. Uh, one more thing that either does, it makes connection automatically. For example, if I'm not using mouse pointer, but if I'm using cursor keys, then I have selected this transformer and then I am pressing my downward cursor key and now 
I have placed it. If I now uh, move transformer again upward, it has automatically made the connection. So this is some basic um, working or trick while you're working on EDAP. Now, the second step is that you have to enter the ratings. Right now I'm taking just, you know, um, random ratings. 5 megawatt generator, 11 kV. From here you can set the power factor for the generator. And there are many more options, you can explore it later. Not 11 kV. I want it 30 kV. Now you see bus is or bus has automatically taken the voltage from the generator. Now transformer. For transformer you have to enter uh, your primary voltage, secondary voltage, and your rating. So let's say it's my power transformer. So I am uh, stepping it to 132 kV and give it, uh, giving it MVA of um, let's say 8 MVA but uh, there will be very, mu uh, very much errors if I do not completely enter the data like I have entered the, this rating for, uh, entries but I also have to enter these entries you know so Right now I'm just taking typical data. You can also provide tappings uh, in this section. And uh, like if there is any under voltage or over voltage problem, you can use their section. Now the transmission line. You can change the length of transmission line from here you can select the conductors for transmission line let's say for the ground wire as well Now enter the spacing between the conductors. There is, um, let's say, five feet. Towers height, number of ground wires. Just click it once here, and you get another entry option. Another transformer, it is my step down transformer, taking typical ZNXR and 132 to uh, 11 kV and keeping MBA the same, that was 8 MBA and that's it. Now, my lamp load, um, I'm taking the load to be. 6 MVA and let's say you have to enter the data in HP4 motor and let's say it to be 75 HP okay before running there should be one generator at least which should be on the swing mode Always keep this in mind, otherwise you are going to receive errors. Press OK. Let's check it for once. Here, here is the load flow environment. You know, uh, by pressing this icon, you get load flow results. I will describe this later. Here are some display options that 
what are the parameters you want to be shown when you run the load flow. It is whether you want unit to be displayed or not, whether what kind of information you want when you run the load flow. So let's run for the first time. So, if I have selected this option, and for instance, if I change any reading, any rating, like from 75 HP, I change it to 70 HP. then it automatically recalculates uh, the data, the, the load flow. If it is not enabled, then let's say you change it again to 75 HP. But this time you will have to click this icon. So there are some alert views which you can see from here, red bell button. And I have some severe and some marginal errors, like my generator is overexcited, bus 2 is under voltage, and uh, generator 1 is also overload. And some marginal errors, bus 3 and 4 are under voltage. So bus 3 and bus 4, let's show them. If you uncheck this node, the buses are displayed so this is the, for the first time you have run the load flow and uh, you can resolve these errors like you can either provide tapping on transformer or improve the power factor of overall your system in this way you can improve this whole bit. I'm not going into that detail right now. I just want to show you some display options. Let's explore it. For example, if I check this button, then my SLD will also show me the losses. This is my P and this is my Q. This is my active power loss and this is my reactive power loss. you can select from here what information you want to be displayed on your screen for example right now it is showing the load flow of P and Q like active and reactive power but we can change it as well for example you select amperes so it will show the flow of current this 109.4 is actually the current flowing from generator and uh, for example, if you just select MW, you will just see the flow of active power or in this way you can explore it. So this was the very first step on the load flow. In the same existing SLD, we can also uh, ready for a short circuit analysis. So, in order to run the short circuit analysis, the first, the very first step that you have to do is that you have to place fault at any bus. For example, I am placing fault on my load bus or this given TV bus. So, if I have to check the three phase, the effect of three phase fault on my SLD, then um, it, it requires some of the data on the generator.
So either you have to fill this all later or you can simply select it. You can data. Hopefully it should work. Yeah, it has worked now. You can also notice as my lock load is also 20% sorry 80% motor and I have also used a motor so they are back feeding to the fold like all the current is entering on this bus. So if you uh, want to check the behavior of the system on the sub-transient state or transient state or steady state of the fall, you can use these three options. Let's check them. Or if you have to uh, check for unsymmetrical fold, you can select here either line to ground or line to line or line to line to ground and under the line to ground section you can either choose sequence values or if you have to see phrase values you can select it so you can check all these three data You can also check for line to line. And check for line to line to ground fold. So thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and give us a subscription.